Source cred is a new system for figuring out who, basically who deserves credit and rewards for making contributions to a project. I think you can understand it pretty well if you compare it to how we currently do things. Today, if you're working on something valuable, uh, you'll have a negotiation with someone who has more power than you. And that person will go and say, hey, I think you're worth you know, this many dollars an hour. And depending on how much leverage and how much privilege you have, you'll get a higher or lower rate. And that's your fixed reward, basically. And if you actually deliver a lot more value than that, then that other person, the capitalist essentially, will get that extra value. The source cred is an attempt to create a system where people are valued differently, where it's not about translating their replaceability into a dollar cost. It's instead about seeing what their contributions actually lead to. The first part of source cred is cred. And that's an algorithm that we use to assign scores to contributions and to contributors based on how contributions added value to other contributions or other outcomes. Second, we're going to use crypto economics to create a token called grain. Every project has its own grain that we distribute based on cred that confers the right to govern the project and the right to change the incentives of cred. Third, boosting is when you permanently stake grain behind a contribution that you want to be worth more cred. So if I go and file my bug report saying, please fix this bug, and then I stake a bunch of grain behind it, that means that whoever works on this bug will get more cred. And that means that now everyone in the project is incentivized to help you solve your issue. In addition to increasing the cred of that contribution, you also get a share of the future cred. In a way, you can think of this as a replacement for management. In a traditional company, managers are people who are given the privilege of allocating resources and allocating attention within the project. And then they do well if they allocate resources in ways that benefit the community or benefit the company. In source cred, anyone could come, buy some grain, and then start using that grain to boost the things they think are important. And if the community comes to agree that they were boosting important things, then that person will get more influence in the future decision making. One of the ways to contribute is technically, you know, writing code. Uh, another is by writing documentation. Another is by asking good questions on our forums that help us figure out what our values are and how we should be improving it. Uh, another is by creating art. We've actually like flowed a bunch of cred to people who have created really like interesting or inspiring art based on source cred. Source cred is much more than just a technology project. Uh, it's an experiment in community governance. It's an experiment in building healthy communities that have explicit incentives. If you want to be a contributor, the best thing to do would be to come by the SourceCred website and introduce yourself and ask some questions.